Saturday, obviously a close win, but what was the takeaway offensively? Uh, just try and start faster, clean up the self-inflicted mistakes, and I mean, they're a good team. We got hats off to them, but I think there's a lot of stuff on tape we know that we inflicted on ourselves and that we can improve upon, and, and uh, honestly, yeah, just continue to improve upon this week and going into next week. Back-to-back -back games, games kind of go down to the wire. you got to make plays late to win them. I mean, how helpful is that, maybe move, moving forward through the rest of the season? Yeah, I think it gives you the confidence to know that when it comes to crunch time, when even if, when adversity is hitting and all that, that uh, when it's time to make plays, you're still able to make those plays and you have enough composure and enough wherewithal to still fall back on your training and your technique and go make those plays. And it's definitely uh, good for the confidence. Greg, what's your thoughts on Kansas this week? Kansas is a really solid football team. Um, going all the way into Florence. It's going to be a, a tough atmosphere. It's homecoming, I heard. You know, I, I know it's sold out, all that. So it'll be a great atmosphere to go to. And, yeah, I mean, they're a good, good, sound football team, really good in the, in the run game and also the explosive pass game. And then their defense is really solid. A lot of good tacklers everywhere, good cover guys, good corners on the edges, great field backer. I haven't dug much into the D-line, but, you know, I'm all about the, the secondary. But they're a real well-rounded football team that can attack you many ways on offense and defense. They've really improved the last couple of years, haven't they? I mean, oh. It's become a tough game for you guys. Tremendously, yeah. They're definitely a very formidable opponent in the Big 12 for not just us, but for anybody. What do you remember about that game two years ago? It was late, it was tight late, the last time you all went there. Yeah, I remember it was a dreary day. Uh, we, were, we started slow. Um, and I remember Caleb Williams taking the ball from the running back, I think it was Kennedy Brooks, and took off. And that kind of sealed the game. Just one of the crazier players I've ever seen. But that honestly doesn't have a whole lot to do with this year anymore. Yeah, but obviously going to be a different atmosphere there. Two years ago, they were trying to get anybody in at halftime that they could. And, and now, like you said, sold yeah. out and everything. Yeah, definitely. No, I, I mean, yeah, it's a testament to how much they've improved over the last just two years. And, and yeah, people like watching good football, and they're a good football team. So there's going to be a sold-out stadium. What have you seen from Nick Anderson? Got his first start on.